to Talk in the Tub, 30s edition. 30s in the tub! In the 1930s, Hoovervilles were popular. These were villages of cardboard boxes because people got evicted from their homes. Just in case you were wondering, there were 21 lynches in the 1930s. People often jumped on trains because they had no other way of transportation. These people were called hobos and tramps. The top baby names of the 30s. Boys. One, Robert. Two, James. Three, John. Four, William. Five, Richard. Hey, isn't that your grandpa's name? You know it. Wasn't he born in the 30s? You bet he was. Weird. Six, Charles. Seven, Donald. Eight, George. Nine, Thomas. And ten, Joseph. That was really cool. Yeah. Females. One, Mary. Two, Betty. Like Betty Crocker. Oh my gosh, you know. <laughs> Three, Barbara. Barbara Bush. <laughs> Four, Shirley. Five, Patricia. Six, Dorothy. Like the Wizard of Oz. <gasps> Weird. Okay. Seven, Joan. Eight, Margaret. Nine, Nancy. Like Nancy Drew. Those were also written during the 30s. Whoa. Ten, Helen. Helen of Troy. Due to poverty in the 1930s, soup kitchens were really popular. Soup is cheap. Dr. Seuss also wrote books during the 1930s, which was then adapted into this film. Horton, here's a who. Green eggs and ham. Yum. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early Did you know that the national anthem was designated in 1931? Lorna, you're the voice of an angel. Oh, thanks. Did you know that in 1931, 60% of Americans owned a car? Popular brands were Chevrolet, Ford, and Packard. The population in the 1930s was a 123,188,000. That's a lot of people. And that was only in 48 states. Because remember, Hawaii and Alaska weren't yet in the country. Despite the Great Depression, debutantes in the cafe society was still popular among the rich. The average yearly income of an American family was $1,368. Awesome. Super cool. So much money. Telegrams became increasingly popular in the 1930s, and they even got cool headers with graphic designs on top. In the Great Plains, there was a dust bowl. Dust. Everywhere. Many popular fragrances were invented in the 1930s. Good sex. The young women. 30 to 35 years old. Pack two, pack four. Brunette. And she's wearing high heels. Perhaps a bit too formal for the afternoon. And she has an Chanel number five. <laughs> Is anyone with you? <laughs> no. Do you have a pair of high heels in that bag? No. Not even a small pair of pumps? No. <laughs> Who are you? I am Yuri, the trainer. And what did you do here, Yuri, the trainer? I train. President Roosevelt strongly encouraged stamp collecting as a national hobby. Gotta love those stamps. Gotta love them. Kids are always looking for something to do. So marbles became a popular game for kids. It's not a choking hazard at all. Baseball was a popular sport in the 1930s. Staple foods in the 1930s. Bisquick, Tasty Bread, Kraft Macaroni and Cheese, Oscar Mayer Wieners, and Land O'Lakes Butter, fresh from Minnesota! The Warner Brothers debuted their everlasting game, Monopoly. Hey, do you remember Mr. Monopoly? He was the best sub ever. So good. You are the elite. You are the elite. Popular food brands invented in the 1930s. 
Jello. Nothing like it. Planters nuts. Gotta love them. Gambling became popular in the 1930s as a way to make money. A way this was done was at horse races, which were also legalized in the 1930s. Hey, I think I know someone that likes horses a lot. Oh, me too. I think her initials are HG. HG. In the 1930s, they finally stopped using hog hair for toothbrushes and invented the nylon hair toothbrush. Fresh. <laughs> Minty. 80% of the population had radios. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Yeah, I love the radio. Kleenex brand of tissues was invented in the 1930s, so go ahead and watch that sad movie. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Horton Hears a Who always makes me cry. Me too. Share? Thanks. So that was the 1930s in a nutshell. Or a bathtub. <laughs> Stay tuned for Tea Swizzle in the Tub coming to a YouTube near you. The well to do up on Lenox Avenue on that famous thoroughfare with our noses in the air. High hats and colored collars, 